Hello everybody, it's the Game Judge here, and today I want to talk to you guys about where I think the Elder Scrolls 6 location should be. And this particular location, I feel, makes the most sense for the Elder Scrolls 6, and I hope that Bethesda does indeed make this the location. I don't want to dive right into the location because I want to present the evidence and give context as to why I think this particular location is the right one for the Elder Scrolls 6. So stick around if you want to see what that location is. I think we need to start with a brief overview of the Elder Scrolls games and their locations. So let's jump all the way back in time to 1994, when the very first Elder Scrolls game was released. And this game was none other than the historical Elder Scrolls Arena. Sticking to the theme of location for this video, that is exactly what I want to talk about in regards to Arena. It takes place in the continent of Tamriel, of course, and it is located in... Well, it's located in the whole freaking continent of Tamriel. And how did they achieve this, you might ask? The answer to that question is procedural generation. The towns, the wilderness, and the dungeons all procedurally generated. They were able to incorporate weather such as rain and snow in the environment. They also had a cool feature where you could pick the location from Tamriel to decide your race. We can cut them some slack here as it is their first game. We have to take into account the time period in which it was released. Not much more to say about this one in regards to location as it's just very, very spread out. Next up, we have the Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall released in 1996 and the location for this one was interesting because you can only travel between two locations in Tamriel. Those locations are Hammerfell, which we will talk about later, and High Rock. High Rock is home of the Breton race, who are a mixture of elf and human. They're typically outgoing and make for excellent battle mages. Now Daggerfall is one of the eight kingdoms in High Rock, and the location is the capital city of the Kingdom of Daggerfall. The climate here is described as cloudy and mostly dry. Daggerfall allows you to experience some snow and rain, and it is a major political power and city in Tamriel, according to the lore. That's really about it when it comes to the location here. Moving on to the next game in the Elder Scrolls series, and we have the Elder Scrolls Legends Battlespire, released back in 1997. What can we say about this location? Well, it's located in the Battlespire, the Imperial Academy of Battle Mages and Imperial Shadow Legions. Now, this location is quite interesting, or weird rather, because it's not just a floating building on a rock. It's a floating building in a pocket dimension on a rock between Mundus, Oblivion, and and Aetherius. Mundus being the mortal plane for the humans in Tamriel, Aetheria being the plane where all the magic comes from and where the souls return to after death. It's also where Sovngar is located. If you guys played Skyrim, you know exactly what area I'm talking about. And then Oblivion where all the Daedric princes have their planes of existence. I mean, could they have picked a more complicated location here? Anyways, the game is kind of dark and creepy, and it kind of feels like you're in a dungeon the whole time. And honestly, the people you kill in this game kind of freak me out with their realistic screams. What? Man flesh? You talk? What wants it? So it's a bit of a whimsical location to say the least. Moving on to the next one, and this is where I feel like Bethesda really started the trend of focusing on one location at a time for their games, and that game is The Elder Scrolls Redguard, released in 1998. I feel like here we got a little more clarity as the game is focused on one location, and that location is on the island of Stros Mkai, probably said that wrong, an island off the coast of Hammerfell, and the wonderful continent of Tamriel. Home to the Redguards, a race of humans who tend to make for great warriors, Contrary to what a lot of people might think, Hammerfell is actually full of mountains, jungles, and grasslands, a pretty diverse geographical area. However, this particular island is full of sandy dunes and the Ogre's Tooth Mountains. What a cool name. It also has some awesome or not awesome fights on the boats. I'll let you guys decide. Small cut, nothing my turn. <sighs> let me show the wealth a thing or two. Now this particular Elder Scrolls game is unique in the fact that you have a predetermined character and forced third person point of view. So the game and location is a little narrow in scope, but overall, I like the direction by Bethesda here. This leads me to the next game and location. And this game is where I think Bethesda really started to gain some recognition. And that is the infamous Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. Home to my favorite race, the introverted Dunmar, AKA Dark Elves. It was released in 2002, gone was procedural generation. It provided a great location for exploration and a lot of the elements we grew to love from Bethesda. The location itself is actually on an island, just like the previous games we talked about. And the 
island is Vardenfall, but it's technically in Morrowind. And the majority of the game's playable space is taken up by this island. The island itself is large, surrounded by mainland Morrowind, with its northern coast meeting the Sea of the Ghost, the southwest, we have Solstein, and the island itself is dominated by the great volcano Red Mountain. Now here's where things get complicated, as this island has nine different regions with different terrain and climates. You have the swampy bitter coast, the green lush Ascadian Isles, or the dry and hospitable Ashlands. I won't go over every region, but you get the point. It also has cool bug-like creatures like the Netch flying around. So we're getting close to the end here, with only two games left before I reveal the location that the Elder Scrolls 6 should be in. But that being said, the next one up is The Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, released in 2006. This one really garnered even more attention for Bethesda. Located in Cyrodiil, which is located in the continent of Tamriel, it is home to the Roman Centurions, <clears throat> I mean Imperials, a human race that is basically just your typical Roman business people. Is there a Move the game is fairly large in size, it has lots of rolling hills, areas of water, and a very green and lush landscape. It has very Roman-like architecture throughout the game, and even has a coliseum of sorts in the arena where you battle it out to the death. <sighs> Something else I have to mention here, and I actually did not know this, but did you guys know that Cyrodiil is home to Manitars? Like seriously, I had no idea. I kind of wish I would have seen some when I played Oblivion. How freaking cool would that have been? Or if you could choose Manitars as a race, someone please tell Bethesda to maybe make this a playable race for the Elder Scrolls 6. Just saying, that would be kind of cool. So we are near the finish line, and the last game Bethesda released was back in 2011. 13 years ago, Damn, it's 2024. It was indeed their most successful game. Skyrim location-wise, I feel they really knocked this one out of the park. Set in Skyrim, home of the hardy, tall, pale Nords, it's full of beautiful mountains, streams, plenty of Greenland, and snow. The game definitely is inspired by Norse or Viking aesthetic style. It's vast and full of things to explore and enjoy. Not much needs to be said about this location. It's just freaking awesome. So we have finally arrived at the finish line. Now I know Hammerfell was the rumored location a while ago, but I am a fan of different in some circumstances, and this is indeed one of those circumstances. I want Elder Scrolls 6 to be in a different region. So this really narrows the choices down to Valenwood, Elsewhere, Blackmarsh, and Somerset Isles. Now I have to say no to Blackmarsh, home of the lizards, I mean Argonians, because it's swampy and covered in rain that they supposedly call Hispis, according to the lore, whatever that is. It just doesn't seem like an ideal location, with lizards and all. I mean, can we really trust the lizard people? This location just sounds depressing. Then we have elsewhere, home of the cats, I mean Khajiit race. I'm going to say no as well to this location. It's described as harsh badlands, dry plains, and with covered jungles in the southern territory where they sell the addictive moon sugar. For me personally, this wouldn't be the best location. Plus, can we really trust the cat race? This leaves us with two locations. We have the Somerset Isles, home of the tall, thin Altmer High Elves, and its climate is described as a warm, colorful forest, idyllic meadows, and craggy mountains. And then we have Valenwood, home of the Bosmer or the Wood Elves, small elves that are good with archery. And this area is described as having lots of forest. It's described as being dense and green with large oak trees and the Wood Elves living in these trees. Admittedly, I'm a little torn here because on one hand, I feel like the High Elves had such a high presence in Skyrim and that they have a lot of explaining to do. So I feel that this location would serve as a nice bridge between the two games. However, at the same time, I'm a little burnout on all the Skyrim stuff, so I'd like for them to start with something fresh and new, and I do feel that Valenwood does provide this. I mean, the way the landscape is described, it's almost like this forest fairy kind of location, and it just sounds kind of uplifting, and we don't really know a lot about the Wood Elves, I feel. So I think it would be nice to have this fresh start with a new, interesting, uplifting area where we can learn more about the Wood Elves. We already heard a lot about the High Elves and Skyrim anyway. I just feel this is a good time to let the Wood Elves shine. But that's just my opinion on what I think the location for the Elder Scrolls 6 should be. I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below where you guys think the Elder Scrolls 6 location should be and why. Also feel free to tell me if you disagree with the location that I picked and why. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all on the next one.